Okay, Gabe, should we break into them softly or should we just be really blunt about this? I'm a fan of just being blunt. Let's okay, do it. Okay, we're going to have to be blunt today, guys. Sorry. The reality is that for the vast majority of homeowners who think they might want to build an ADU themselves, they saw something online and think they can coordinate all the subcontractors and all the planning. The reality is you're better off going with professionals 99% of the time. And take it from me, I've, I've, I do projects all the time. I've ripped up floors and replaced them. I've framed new walls. I've even you know, put in electrical, uh, put in, I've even run gas pipes with the proper permits here. Um, but doing an entire ADU build involves so many of those different skills with so much, so much sort of timeline difference and, and the budget for all of them when you're building a full new ADU is so high that it's really not worth the risk for the vast majority of homeowners. In this video, we're gonna talk about why. We're gonna talk about the pros and cons of running your own project. We're gonna talk about what it means to be owner builder. And we're gonna walk you through the whole process from start to finish of an ADU. So we've got a lot of awesome content to talk about today. So let's dive into it. Okay, so let's get some basic vocabulary out of the way to start. Uh, let's talk about what is owner builder? What does that mean? And what is the alternative? to owner builder. Totally. So owner builder is when the owner of a pro property actually takes on the responsibilities of what typically ADU professionals do. That means that the owner builder is in charge of the design and working with the city to get an approved design and all the necessary permits. And then it actually, it can mean that the owner builder takes on all of the subtasks involved in building an ADU, everything from framing walls to running uh, trenches for electrical wire. You know, in many municipalities, you can take a lot of these tasks on yourself. If you do them right, they're properly permitted and inspected. It can also mean taking on the role of a general contractor. So contracting with subcontractors to do things like the foundation, you know, the, the sub trades, but still managing the entire project instead of letting professionals do that. The alternatives include hiring a designer, hiring a contractor, and or, and or hiring a design build firm, which bring both of those into the same company. If you're the kind of homeowner that gets intimidated by hanging picture frames, for example, or doing minor tasks around the house, then owner builder is definitely not for you. And if you're even feeling a little bit uh, like this is a daunting process, even to hire the professionals to be able to do this work, this is certainly something Maxwell can help with. So Maxwell has helped paired hundreds of homeowners across the country with vetted ADU professionals, general contractors, prefab companies, design build, designers. And so you can absolutely use Maxwell as a resource for finding those people if you don't want to go the owner builder route, which the vast majority of people are hiring this, these out to trades professionals. And we get, and we get uh, questions all the time about whether we can hire the right professionals, but then do some component of the work yourself. And the answer is yes, that is an option. However, I just want to point out from my personal experience and from watching hundreds of homeowners go through sort of the maximal process, that often that ends up costing more, as much or more, and taking a lot of your time. And the reason for that is, you know, when you hire professionals who do this all day, every day, whether it's install flooring, do the electrical, uh, install the solar panels, you know, pour the foundation. They know exactly what they're doing. They don't have to research what type of concrete to use or how to waterproof this, or they know they, they've got enough reps in. So take it from someone who's, you know, valiantly gone in to do a lot of the sub trades himself. Um, you know, it, it often ends up costing just as much. And when it doesn't cost just as much, the quality that I can do compared to a professional is often lower. So take those into account. I'm so glad that you mentioned the time piece. I think that is so important because ultimately your time is money. There's an opportunity cost to you doing the work yourself when you could be doing something else. And, and like what you said, the, the time that it would take a professional to do it versus the time that it takes you to do it is so different. I have been in ADUs where I'm watching professionals put in drywall and it's how fast they can put it up. And they're like, you know, stable gun, stable gun, stable gun. I mean, it's unbelievable to see how quickly they work. Could I watch a bunch of YouTube videos, do the research and figure out how to do that myself? Absolutely. Would I do as good of a job and would it take 
me 10 times longer, I would not do as good of a job. And yes, it would take me 10 times longer. So that's just something for you to keep in mind. Now, let's talk a little bit about what the process involves. Let's say you do want to go owner and owner builder. There are certain things that you need to understand. For example, you need to be able to obtain insurance. You need to be able to source materials. You need to be able to uh, source if you're going to hire subcontractors, which likely you would, you know, you're going to have to be able to source all the different subcontractors for all the different types of trades, right? There's the foundation, there's framing, there's electrical, there's plumbing, there's finish work. Um, and so that, that's a lot to have to do. And you're going to have to manage the timelines. I think one of the, the interesting things about construction is that it's all a series of order of operations, right? And so the general contractor, more than anything, is someone who has deep connections to all of the trades and things they need, or they have those uh, people as employees, W-2s in-house, and they're constantly managing the relationships with the city, the inspectors, and trying to keep everything on a smooth timeline. And so that's another skill set that you would need to be able to you know, be really competent and strong at if you're going to keep your project on time and budget. Absolutely. And let me just add to that, you know, I've, I've done projects, smaller renovations where I coordinate directly with subcontractors. And if you're a really competent sort of project manager and you think in terms of spreadsheets and you're organized, you can be very tempted to think, okay, well, I just have to list out a few electricians, get the quotes from them, list out plumbers, get a few quotes from them and so on and so forth. The, the challenge or what I keep on finding when I do this is that you know, this is ultimately a trust game and a relationship game. And when these subcontractors work again and again with and for the general contractors, they establish a repeatability. They get some element of preferred pricing. They, they're willing to take that call and adjust their schedule because something didn't dry on time. Or when you're an individual homeowner trying to work with those directly with those subcontractors, you're not going to get those preferred rates. Uh, you're not going to get those timelines that can kind of adjust because they're, they're speaking the same language. So there's so much nuance and it's such a relationship game that it's often 99% of the time, especially for a big project like an ADU, not worth doing. Okay, so here's my big question, Gabe. Given your background and how handy you are and how hands-on you've been with your own home and building the ADU that's in your backyard, if you were to go do the whole thing again, you know, let's say you were to buy a new property with the intention of putting an ADU on it, would you go owner builder or would you GC it out? Yeah, I mean, it's a great question and I'm a bit of a unique case. Um, I, <laughs> I absolutely love being hands-on. I, I get really, uh, I get a lot of joy from learning new skills. With that said, I would still not go owner builder for a project the size of an ADU. Um, it, is, it is too complex. There's too many sub trades. Um, and the stakes are too high because you're unlike, you know, if I redo my staircase here in a new style or take up my flooring, you know, with this, I'm going to have tenants, long-term renters or short-term renters in it, um, or I'm going to have family members in it that are, you know, and I'm not there every day. So this is, this is an, even with my skill set and my passion for learning some, some of the trades and, you know, at least doing it on a, on a sort of self-performed basis, this is, this is something I won't, won't really touch. Not, not without a full-on general contractor sort of license and experience. Yeah, absolutely. And there's the warranty that comes with being a, you know, general contractors are often offering a 10-year warranty on, you know, everything that they have installed and worked on. And so that's another thing that you're forfeiting when you do it yourself. So there's a lot of considerations, but again, I think our, uh, you know, the if you had one big takeaway for this whole video, it's that, you know, doing owner builder is a very serious undertaking that requires very specialized skills. And unless your background is in construction, we generally just do not recommend that this is something that you try to tackle yourself. I was talking with a really experienced designer in the ADU industry, and he really emphasized that uh, that instead of training or working with homeowners to have them become construction managers or developers, actually more that's a one-off thing for most homeowners and even if they're investors and they're going to do multiple properties it's not going to become their full-time job what is more important is to prepare homeowners to become great renters to become great landlords so that they can sort of manage those properties on an ongoing basis because it's often in their backyards or in their space 
And so just think about you know, where do you want to where do you want to excel and what's worth really hiring professionals for? Typically, it's not that des that design build piece, but more the long term care, maintenance, and love that goes into having a great ADU. So why are we even qualified to talk to you about owner builder or how you should approach your ADU project? My name is Caitlin Bigelow, this is Gabe Blanchett, and we have a ton of experience at Maxwell. In fact, Maxwell has helped thousands of homeowners explore ADU projects, and we've been directly involved with more than $70 million in ADU development. So we have a lot of experience guiding people through this whole process, and we want to help you gain the confidence and the experience, the education you need to make smart financial decisions for your project. We offer all of this content for free online. And then if you want to work more directly with the Maxwell team, we have a, a referral network of vetted ADU professionals that we would love to connect you to. These are folks that we've, we've done projects with, we've seen do projects, and we know we'll do a great job with you. Go to maxwellspace.com and we can certainly help connect you. We also have opportunities to work even more hands-on with homeowners like you. If you loved this video and this content, make sure to like and subscribe so that you're notified because we put out fantastic, great content every other week and you don't want to miss it.